Hey, it's me, a Quay. Uh, if you've watched uh, the first video in the series, uh, Shape and Form of the Universe, then uh, you're ready for this one. If not, uh, please go back, please <laughs> watch the first one. This one make a lot more sense then, okay? Well, we're going to talk about the universe uh, a little bit more, and we're going to talk about it this time instead of from the 3D perspective. We're going to switch the side and talk about it from a 5D perspective, okay? One of the great features about the 5D existence and living is uh, you can go back to any age and any incarnation and view it. That's right. Everything you've done is in a cash record. Okay, uh, that's a term for it, but uh, is all you know, all right now moment. Everything happened in the same moment, even in a 5D. Okay. Uh, let me explain a little better. And I have a white board. I I do that for you. But uh, first, the introduction. In a 5D space, you hold in your hand a 12D shape, a dodecahedron. Okay, and it to have a five-sided frames. And these have the information for 26,000, approximately 26,000 years uh, of Earth. Everything on it, from the littlest ant to the smallest electron move, everything that could possibly be in a branching multiverse contained within a dodecahedron shape. Okay, you hold this in your hand and uh, you concentrate like a watching TV, you know. And you look at it and you decide, oh, okay, I want to be this person. Let's say uh, I want to be uh, Enoch, okay, on, uh, on a planet Earth, okay. Or let's pick somebody easier because he do a little time jumping. Okay, let's, uh, let's go with uh, Joe Smith, a generic guy, okay. I want to be Joe Smith and uh, see what life is like from his perspective, okay. And uh, learn some lessons. Okay, this is like a school. You can use it for learning, you can use it for entertainment. Let's say uh, you like a Bible and uh, you like the story of David and Goliath, okay, the Nephilim, okay, and uh, you, uh, you want to experience that. Uh, you can see it from an astral projection, which is like a dot in space, and move around, and they don't know you're there, okay, and you watch. Uh, you can watch it from the perspective of David and uh, view it as it actually happened or you can view it from uh, a branching storyline perspective uh, like uh, like a game like you're David you come in you for all you know you forget everything and then all you know is you are David and you make your own choices and do it your own way and see how it turn out okay that too is saved this comes with a deja vu Every time there's a branch in the original storyline called a virgin life, okay, the virgin life goes straight through. No branches, no choices. He just did what he did, okay, and that's the uh, the honesty, the truth of the situation, okay. But uh, if you're watching, uh, let's say you want to do it a little different way, okay, you make a choices. Now, when you come up to these choices, much like uh, some storybooks that are on Earth, that uh, you read it says uh, you get to a point it says if you do this turn to page 52 if you do this uh, turn to page 35 okay uh, it's kind of like that kind of branching and I'll show you how that's work on the whiteboard in a moment but first I want to explain the concept completely as to what it is okay and why it is okay is entertainment okay and it's not just the earth everything that ever existed in the universe for that 26,000 year span roughly 26,000 year span earth years is recorded uh, you want to be uh, uh, Zolog okay or whatever made-up name like a Joe Smith and uh, you want to be a reptilian and you want to uh, see where they're at in their evolution okay and uh, experience these things it's there Okay, you got to remember eternity a very, very long time. To watch a human lifetime uh, in eternity is uh, not any different than watching a movie uh, from your perspective uh, on Earth. Okay, in a 3D time, you watch a movie, it takes about two hours. Okay, I mean, and, you know, it's, it's not really a big part of your life. 
to watch a human life uh, in a fifth dimensional space from beginning baby all the way to end you know it's like watching a movie same thing okay and you don't have to watch the whole movie you can come in at any point that there's a deja vu point or moment and pick up the story from there but from your perspective you remember everything that he remembered being a baby growing up because you have to totally believe that uh, if you're watching David and Goliath that you're David that's where you truly understand his his perspective okay there's a tri D TV 3D TV you're going to love it not like a 3D movie that look a little uh, blurry edges and they come at you a little bit no is a real you feel you touch you do everything okay tri D TV now let's go to the board and I'll explain a little bit of how it works, shall we? Okay, alright, here we go. Now, make sure I got everything. Okay, I got the everything, here we go. Now here you up uh, in a fifth D, okay? You conceive, conceive what you want to do, okay? Uh, this is your 5D hand holding that 12-sided uh, object with the information here, okay? And you just uh, view it. You just look at it, and it's like a watching TV. You zip into it. You know, like you get into a TV show, you forget you're in a movie theater. Same thing, but on a much better level, okay? High def. God's high def, a source energy high def, a 5D high def is a real high def, okay? Real 3D high def anyway. So, here we go. You conceive in the fifth dimension what you want to view, uh, choices you want to make, and then you uh, play it out in a three dimensions like a soul. In the fifth dimension, quantum connection through the synapses in your brain, which is a receiver. That's all it is. Your brain, uh, it has some limited thinking on its own. That's why you say you only use about that 10%. But most of it's taken up with this, okay? It's a receiver. It's a receive uh, energy impulse signal, much like a television or a radio, okay? And then, uh, of course, you know the biology. It uh, branches down, electric signals make uh, your arms move, things like this, okay? Anyway, that's a wiring, okay? So you conceive in the fifth dimension. You receive in your brain, which is a quantum link to that fifth dimension. And then it project out. You create your reality from what you conceive. And you perceive it here. Ah. So the chain goes this way. Now most people, most people, uh, that's in a 3 a slash 4D existence, they think they see somebody walking towards them, okay? And uh, they take it in through the eye and it register in the brain and then they think about it, okay? That's a backwards. What you haven't grasped is a little trick, okay? <laughs> kind of like uh, the frames in the first video. A lot of the things you don't notice because it's meant to be illusionary, okay? To be, uh, to make it all work, okay? Like a TV, you forget about how the system works and you watch the TV show. Okay, same thing. Anyway, here we go. Uh, time actually going backwards. I'll explain that in a minute. So again, you conceive in the fifth dimension by looking at your Tri-D TV, which is a 12-sided uh, object, a dodecahedron. And on that dodecahedron, have all of the universe. We talk about that. And let's talk about how that's made, okay? Because you really want to know this by this point. How this work? I always do that. How this work? Well, I show you. <laughs> okay. You say, but time going forward. Time not going to break an egg. It's a broken, right? <laughs> Not so fast, Sparky. Let's talk about it. Now, many of you uh, have heard of the game of Pong. Okay, Pong. This is a representation of Pong. It have a paddle here, a paddle here, and a ball bouncing a back and a forth, okay? Your perception is like that ball, all right? <clears throat> the distance between the paddles 
is a 26,000 earth year, okay, in age, in age. Okay, we are in the fourth age, going into the fifth age. Here we go. <clears throat> On the left side, you have an entropy. Uh, everything that are born fall apart. Uh, everything you break cannot put back together, etc., uh, etc. Et now those uh, pretty heavy in physics realize that without a concept of time, or future, or past, the state of something makes absolutely no difference. It's the state you perceive. But you say, wait a minute, uh, if we're going backward and have an entropy, how come it doesn't look like things going backwards? Let me explain. You like this ball, always face forward. You bounce off the paddle, you go the other way, you still feel you're going forward. Now many people believe that at 2012 in December, they will start to experience reverse entropy. This is true. This is part of this system, okay? Let me show you how this work. Here's the ball. You, from your perspective, from your perspective, okay? You're always looking forward, no matter what direction you're going to you, you're always working forward, okay? We in the negative side, the lower side of the galactic plane, things go backwards. A negative energy, society fall apart. Uh, structure break down, everything uh, get corrupted, a break down, okay? When you are across the 2012 line, you above the galactic center in the positive energy side of it, okay? And you go from an entropy to reverse entropy. But still the ball, as it bounces this way, it bounces back, it still think it walking forward. Okay? So, 26,000 years, it bounces at one time, both sides of the paddle. It gets it to the golden age, and it gets to the darkest part it can be. So you have a range, a spectrum of experience. Okay? Here we go. As you see here, I'm going to switch aside. As you see here, here's that same pong, okay? Paddle, paddle, and a ball bouncing back and forth, okay? Uh, time go both ways. In your perspective, time actually don't move at all, but uh, in your perspective, in a 3D it does. It goes forward into the future, backward into the past. When it goes and loops future and the past, when they touch at the top, is the end of your cycle, end of your galactic cycle, okay? This so, that complete the age. Now, you know as well as I do, that uh, if you buy a DVD movie, the whole movie is contained on the disc and it's not moving. But you could watch that movie backwards or forwards. Uh, there's no difference. The, it's a static on the disc. Same way, static in the dodecahedron. But it's not just a one dodecahedron. It's a dodecahedron with infinite dodecahedrons inside of it. Okay, uh, gods, or source energy, or prime creator, or what is, whatever you want to call the big guy, or what's above you, because there's always something above you. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that is and make a heck of a system, okay? Anyway, let me continue So it come together it close that gap it make a Dodecahedron you can then use okay right now for humanity. There are four com uh, almost completed Dodecahedron there's three that are done and one that's very very close to done so so close to the it it's over You know how your little hourglass go and you get the percentage it say a hundred, but it's not done yet That's how close it is. Okay. Oh a couple months to go. Oh by the way When the age is done is not everything destroyed nothing like that The pong ball keep a bouncing it just start the new age where you left off in the old age is a viewable and turnable and manipulated and you can use for school, okay? The new age then start with that cast of character, okay, from the old age. And that's uh, the beginning of that the DVD. Okay, so.
let me continue. Or, uh, for lack of a better word, I use a DVD so you understand, okay? But that the dodecahedron. <clears throat> so here we go. Age DVD, number four. Uh, it's what's being written right now. Now again, I understand time does not exist. There is only the now moment. And that now moment shift, and I'll show you how. Here is your completed, on in December, your completed age, okay, for the fourth cycle of a, of a humanity and the earth, okay. Your 5D hand is holding it and looking at the information in 2D, like a picture, okay, just like a TV, you see a 2D information on the outside here you're experiencing it of course in a 3d like in this model we talk about but the, here's the branching system if your life contained one of these circles okay every time you make a life choice for positive polarity you want to be good guy you uh, do positive energy thing you do uh, good things because you live in duality now so you understand good and bad okay a fifth d duality go bye bye and just have a polarity okay but still doesn't matter this is why you have polarity good and uh i hate to use good and bad just a positive and a negative okay you make a positive choice you go here in the story like a book i told you you go from page 32 to 57 whatever number you know for the choice you make then that become the center of your universe then you branch again okay so let's say uh i had a choice to make in my life okay and uh, i make a bad choice this is why it's good for school okay if you make uh, you miss the test on the uh, 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 uh on the quiz so to speak uh, it show you the result okay what happened and you can study that life over and over and over until you get to the end like a puzzle if you want to use it for a learning device or you can just jump in and experience it for fun okay so anyway Let's say you make a bad choice. I use bad again and uh, in your terms. And you go this route. Well, then up come another choice. And uh, you see the result of this choice, how it turn out for you, how it make you feel, how it affects your life. Sometimes it doesn't uh, show up till much later in your life. And then, uh, you know, you get another branch. You go, yes, yes and uh, you make it, or no, no, and you go away from it, okay, for learning purposes, okay, because we all want to be better, we all want to improve. Again, these are dualistic terms, better, improve. You have to understand everything perfect as it is. No matter how you're doing, no matter how you're going, is perfect for understanding what you're meant to understand. Sometimes you have a teacher stand beside you, hand you one of these dodecahedron and say, okay, this is what we're going to learn today, okay? You're like a little kid in school, you say, oh, okay, you know? But the timeless being, you're eternal. Remember, 44 years of linear time is nothing. Not even like a, you could be like a watch a TV show, whatever pace you go. That is why the speed of awareness is what it is. Okay? You have to experience it, to live it, to learn from it. Try the TV for the educational system. That's how that works. Uh, for entertainment, it's a different story. You don't have to uh, go through everything. You just think you remember everything. How do you know what you remember as 20 years ago didn't get downloaded into your receiver? three seconds ago you don't do you <laughs> okay because it could be very well or whatever now how you know the difference if you never have a deja vu not even a one time you are having a virgin life okay you are the actual being living the life in 3d if you've had deja vu a couple times you know or experienced uh, deja vu uh, that means you already made it to a fifth dimension. So you don't worry about ascending, you're already there. Okay? Remember, all time fold back, just like even making the age fold back upon itself. Okay? Is a one linear line going in two directions at once, it meet at the top. That is infinity. Okay? So, 
I've explained a little bit about the tri DTV system. One of the coolest things in the fifth dimensional space, because, you know, it, there's no secrets there, there's no need for it, there's no shame. Okay, because uh, even a virgin life who make uh, basically every mistake you can think of a, uh, a certain president I won't name, okay, in the past uh, had a virgin life and really screw things up bad. But you can't really mess up anything because it's all about the learning, okay? It's about experiencing. And you remember, the source energy who is above us, okay, we are like a funnel. We collect experience and we bring it to Him. The uh, singular point at the top of the pyramid, so to speak, and uh, experiences good and bad, He needs them all. So He have a contrast. Uh, so your duality, uh, as you perceive duality, has a purpose, okay? Even the most evil, vile, disgusting thing you can think of have a purpose. You cannot know light without knowing darkness. If you read a book and it was all just pure white pages and perfection, there would be no story and there would be nothing to learn. I look personally, I look at the uh, source energy as experiencing himself through all of us simultaneously, through all age periods and all races and all species and all planets and all aliens every atom, every ant, everything, every blade of grass, every drop of water in the ocean, everything is source energy and it does have a consciousness. So oh, we do our part, we live out our thing, we explore and that's how he grow by setting himself free with a free will to expand as it will. Namaste. I love you all. Thank you. Today's cards are Flow, Prepare, and Connect. Today at 9-13-2012, the cards are Flow, Prepare, and Connect. Uh,